Okay, so new definition. Let f be a function from a set A into a set B. And let g be a function from a set B into the set C. Notice that the codomain of the function f is the domain of the function g. The function, which we denote g circle f, and this is read g of f, which is a map from the set A into the set C, defined by g of f of the element A is g of the element f of A, and this function is called a composition of the functions f and g, that is, the composition g of f is the set of ordered pairs ac, where for every element b in the range of the function f, that element b is mapped onto by the function f, and that element is then mapped by the function g onto an element c in the set c. So let's look at a map diagram tracing a single element. So an element A in the set A is mapped onto an element B in the set B by the function f, so that this element B is f of A. This element is then mapped onto an element C in the set C by the function g so that C, this element C is equal to g of B which is the same as g of f of A. So notice that the map from the set A into the set C can be accomplished in a two-step process that first applies the map F, mapping that element into the set B, and then applying the function G, mapping that element into the set C. And this can be accomplished by a single function, mapping the element A from the set A directly into the set C onto an element C in that set by the composition G of F. So notice that the order of the functions in the composition matter. The uh, function on the right is applied before the function uh, left of it. And so notice in particular that if the domain of the function a, or rather the function f, which is the set a, is not equal to the codomain of the function g, then the composition f of g is not defined. So let's look at an example to clarify this. So let f be a function from the set of integers back into itself and let this function be defined by f of a is a plus 1, and let g also be a map from the integers back into itself, and let g be defined by g of a is 2 times a. Then the composition f of g is a function from the integers into the integers defined by f of g of the element a is f of g of a which is f of 2a 
which is 2a plus 1. So the function f of g of a first multiplies the element by 2 and then augments it by 1. Similarly, the composition g of f is a map from the integers back into itself, defined by g of f of the element a is g of the element f of a, which is g of a plus 1, which is 2 times the sum a plus 1, which is 2a plus 2. So the composition g of f of a is a map that uh, multiplies an element by 2 and then adds 2. Or you can think of it as the map which first augments the element by 1 and then multiplies by 2. Notice that even though both the composition g f of g and g of f are uh, defined, they are not equal. So as a lemma, we will prove that function composition is associative. Proof. Let f be a function from a set A into a set B. Let g be a function from the set B into the set C. And let h be a function from the set C into the set D. Then the composition h of the composition g of f is a map from the set a into the set d defined by h of g of f of the element a is h of the element g of f of the element a which is h of g of f of a. Similarly, the composition h of g of f is a map from the set a into the set d defined by h of g of f of the element a is h of g of the element f of a which is h of g of f of a and hence the composition h of g of f of the element a is equal to the composition h of g of f of the element a for every element a in the domain a. And so uh, it does not matter how we group the compositions, but we must keep the compositions in the correct order. But function composition is associative. Okay, so new definition. Let f be a function from the set A back into the set A. The nth iteration of the function f is the function 
which we denote F superscript N, which is a map from the set A into the set A, defined by F superscript N of the element A is F of F superscript N minus 1 of the element A. That is, we take the composition of F with itself n times. So for example, f squared is the composition of f with itself, and f cubed is the composition of f with f with f, and since function composition is associative, this is the same as f of f squared, which is the same as f squared of f. Okay, so as an exercise, let f be a function from the integers back into the integers and let this function be defined by f of a is 2 times the quantity a plus 1. First, determine the general formula for the nth iteration of the function f. And second, oops, let the set E sub F be the set of all nth iterations of the function F for in a positive integer. Show that this set is a semigroup under function composition. And we call this the evolution semigroup generated by the function f. Okay, so new definition. Let s be a subset of a set t. And let the set s together with the binary operation star be a magma. The identity element. for the set S with respect to the binary operation star is the element E in the set T such that for every element A in the set S, we have that E star A is the same as A star E, which is the element A. That is, the uh, identity element is the element in the superset T, such that when we perform the operation star in whichever order on an element A in the set S, it leaves that element unchanged. So notice that the identity element may or may not be in the underlying set S. And that the element depends upon the specific binary operation
star. For example, the identity element. For the integers under addition is the number 0, since for every integer a, we have that 0 plus a is the same as a plus 0, which is the element a. We refer to the number 0 as the additive identity. Second example, the identity element for the integers under multiplication is the number 1, since for every integer a, 1 times a is the same as a times 1, which is a. And we refer to the number 1 as the multiplicative identity. So new definition, a monoid is a semigroup for which the underlying set contains the identity element with respect to the specific binary operation so for example the integers under addition is a semigroup for which the additive identity zero is in the underlying set of integers and the integers under multiplication is a semigroup for which the multiplicative identity one is in the underlying set of integers and so the set of integers is a monoid under addition and under multiplication. 